right, let's see here. Looks like we are back live again and now in Horizon 4. And though nothing has changed, somehow now I look red as a tomato. I've changed nothing in the lighting in this room. <laughs> nothing at all. So, uh, who knows, man. It's just crazy, crazy. Let me see what this does. You know what? It may be software I've got on my own computer. Yep, it's software I have on my own computer. It's causing it to do this. So, let's see here. Actually, I could just leave it like this. Or I could do a little bit of change in here. Let's throw it to about there. Software that cuts out the blue light helps me sleep like a little baby boy. I'm going to go do a little bit of paint editing on this truck before I head out into the cruel, cruel Forza world of racing and, and such and such. Let's go in here. Let's uh, designs and paints. Uh, apply vinyls. Really just despise how they have you painting outside. I know I can go back to the actual Horizon event and not have to do outside, but it's just such a, it's a dumb idea to be honest with you. I'm going to do a little thing here with this truck. Wow, how far did I put the Clutch Trick logo down? Did I already pass it while I was... I must have passed it while I was talking. I swear I don't see it in there. The Clutch Trick logo. Ah, there it is. Man, I thought I was fixing to go crazy. Now let's go all the way back up here. I'm going to throw a different logo on there. See how it looks. I'm not sure quite how this is going to look yet. Load vinyl group. WowTech, you'll see in the description below, is a school that teaches uh, how to work in the automotive industry, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, I went there as a student years ago, and I actually, now, I actually work there now. And uh, so, yeah, we, we teach the auto industry. What am I doing here? And we have a lot of cool specialty classes like uh, where you can learn how to do custom body work, custom suspension tuning, fabrication, those types of things. We actually get into some dyno tuning. It's a pretty cool place. So check them out. They're in the description below. If you have any interest at all in going to school for that type of stuff. Dude, I'm setting on a heating pad because it's so cold out here in my office. And it is so hot right now. <laughs> I think it's about to burn my bum. I don't really talk like that. It's about to burn the crap out of my legs is what it's about to do. I'm like, I'm freaking out here. What is up with this thing? Is it like shorted out or something? I think it's really like trying to catch me on fire. 
So I'm going to come back and change the whole color of this truck, I think. Make it kind of flow a little better with this new logo that's on it. See, we spun that to eight degrees. Let's go over here. Go to eight also, there we go. Click, 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 click. After I get this, I'll go set up some races. Dude, I gotta get this out of here. It's like, for real, I'm gonna catch on fire. Just burn the crap out of myself. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. It's like charred spots on my pants from it, probably. Uh, let's see here. We want to load another vinyl group. Put the school's tagline down here. Anytime you do a rust build like this, you want to kind of get some of these stickers and stuff to be underneath the rust. Makes the whole thing kind of look authentic and real and old. Not far enough. Let's keep going. Let's go a little further. I want to get it underneath that big stripe of rust that's running down there we go like that now let's go to the rear And I'll take my own logos off of this one. I've got enough of these paint jobs for myself, flaunting my own stuff, so I'll take a little bit of this out. Wow, there's a lot of layers. <laughs> a lot of layers here. Ooh, there we go. I am going to have a uh, speed paint, a video of me speed painting this truck coming out here um, probably next week. Be looking for that. Uh, let's see. Do we want to take the skull off the hood? You know what? I painted this. I'm going to leave that there. Also, you know what? You know what? I painted this. This is my paint. Whether I got their stuff on here or not, it's going to have some of my own logo on it. That's just the way the world works. Whoops.
Now let's go change the color up some on it. I don't think the green looks so good with the red logo. Thanks, man. I've shared a few of these rust uh, rust paint jobs on these cars. I'm going to take this over to the uh, actual festival so I can see what color it's coming out to be. You can't really paint these things in the outside like it does at a house here. I keep hitting the wrong button or something. I want to see the map. I want to see that map. Let's get back out. Okay, there we go. You kind of got to be careful with these rust paints. It's really easy to pick a color that just screws the whole thing up. And you've only got a few colors that actually work right with a good rust paint on here too. Yeah, four's good, but you know, honestly, I just had to do a live stream on Horizon 3. I'm just now getting into four because they have had so many problems with uh, with server issues. I was not able to get on four tonight at all until you know, 12 minutes ago. So I'll go into paint. I've already shared this design with multiple colors and different logos on the door. Let's do, let's make the wheels. Oh, you know what? I'm not seeing it here, but I saw people posting online where we're supposed to be able to, uh, paint the wheels different colors now on the library section. I need to go back to that in just a second here. So let's pick something here. Oh, you know what? I got to do this. I got to go to semi-gloss. See what it looks like in our yellow. I haven't really tried a yellow color yet on this truck. Hmm. Not really liking that. It's kind of like, like a metallic look to it. We'll make it kind of a pale yellow. It's too pale. Not loving that. Let's try some blues. Over here on the blue scale. Really kind of have to play around with these colors. That's pretty much just turned it white there for a minute. Want it to be a color that you might have actually seen on one of these trucks back in the day. Kind of having a hard time getting to that point with it. You know, there were a lot of these that were blue. But typically a darker color, you see here when I start to get darker, it takes away some of the rust effect. It just starts to look like brown stuff stuck all over it. Yeah, I'll try yellow. Try this again here. That's not too bad, but it's kind of what it was just a minute ago. I've actually done this in gray and it looked really good. That's not too bad right there. Can do that. And it kind of goes along with how I've got some of the yellow markings, like it 
used to be painted a different color of yellow and it's flaking off. I really like this truck on the game here. Let's go with that for now. And let's... Oh, I am the world's worst for hitting the wrong button. Well, let's go back to here. Paint color. We were somewhere in the yellow range. Somewhere way over here. Yeah, I've done a gray one that looked really good. Gosh, I screwed it up. You know, that right there actually is really similar to the way some of those trucks actually look that I've seen. Let's knock a little bit of this out here. There we go. We're kind of back to where we were. Do that. Now, what I was trying to do is paint the mirrors. You know, these are actually just a cheap mirror that you used to be able to just go into like Walmart or something to buy. Don't know if they have them now. And it would usually be... Something that looked like that. This kind of looks like an old redneck truck mirror stuck on there, which is exactly what that is, actually, by the way. Uh, the wheels pretty much match the logo. That's good. Let's save this for now. Save the current truck. I want to go and see if I can actually mess with stickers on the wheels see if that's for real thanks man something about doing these rust paints on here i just i love them myself uh, and you can see there on my designs you can see some of the different ones going through actually i haven't looked at this okay it's taking its time so you can see the different ones I did. Uh, kind of a green color, silver colored, gold. There's the one we just did. I actually did another one and put it on a truck specifically for somebody else. These little things are neat, the little Volkswagens. Uh, another live streamer, I made a paint scheme for him. So I did the same thing, but then I threw, the, uh, I threw his logo on it actually. So it looks like all we've got in here is front bumper, left side, top, right, rear. That's all the stuff we've had before. I'll have to look into that and see if that's a possibility or not. Let's take it out for a spin. See if we can hook up some races with it. I really love this truck on here. It's far better than the Hunicorn. too far. I do have a couple of drag vehicles. I've got three of them. Actually, since it's kind of hard. That's the thing about Horizon 4 here, too. Hooking up events kind of sucks, to be honest with you. You either have to get in a lobby that everybody's doing it, or you just don't. So I've done some drag cars here. I could actually kind of see if I can get some people to take my bait. This is a two-wheel drive drag car. I don't usually like those. I like to do all-wheel drive stuff. Um, but I want to play around because, you know, on Horizon 3, people would do like V8, two-wheel drive only stuff. So I kind of want to mess around. This is V12 two-wheel drive drag car. We'll take it over here to the drag strip. On Horizon 4, there's also dirt drag races. But they're really long. They're not like real drag races. I just blew past that. This car would be faster if it was all-wheel drive. But it's pretty fun for two-wheel drive.
I've not been able to get any of the uh, wheel stands and stuff like I've seen people posting pictures of. I wish I could. Custom events, change car. Well, let's see what there is. I think this is mine here anyway. My fastest drag car on here right now is a TVR Speed 12. And I have actually a 32 Ford Coupe that's all-wheel drive. It's pretty fast. It's faster than this car, but it's not fast enough. Now you'll see at the top here it says waiting for players 2 out of 12. A lot of times it'll just kick you out and not actually do a race if there's not 12. But on the drag racing, it might let me still do it. Let's see here. Looks like it is. Yeah, good. Yeah, I'm not sure how people are doing wheel stands. I even saw a 56 Ford pickup doing wheel stands last night. I try to tune myself to go fast, and I hope it does a wheel stand when I do that, but none of them do. They just go straight. Now, one of the 32 Ford, you can tell it'll kind of pull the front end just a little bit, but you really have to be trying to pay attention to see if something's happening to know. If I recall correctly, this car runs eight seconds in this uh, quarter mile. Up against a Nissan GTR, so he's going to be all-wheel drive. He's probably going to smoke me. Two-wheel drive versus all-wheel drive, and he's an S2 and I'm an S1. Oh, doing some spanking. Destroyed him. Ran an 8.2 that time. He ran an 8.8. It's not slow, but... That's right. Two-wheel drive gremlin. I generally always use an automatic on here because you see how it starts you just instantly. You don't have time really to think to try to do a launch with the manual. I got promoted there. Too slow. Zircon, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Having a pretty good time live streaming. I think I will grab my 32 Ford. People don't like to see it go fast because it's an old car. I'll grab it. I actually need to do a rust paint on that car. It's just not right not having rust paint on it. Are burnouts possible? Uh, as far as like, no, when you try to do a drag race, no, you can't stop and set up a... a you can't do one to like before you launch, if that's what you mean. So let's hope it didn't just freeze up on me. Okay, let's see if we can find our 32 Ford. She's fast. I've actually got a, a two-wheel drive one and an all-wheel drive one. So this is my two-wheel drive down here. This is the all-wheel drive. It's fast. Go, man. Glad you could join us. And you see we got to wait almost a full minute just to line up a race. Might not get anybody this time. Nobody on planet Earth wants to do a drag race on Forza Horizon 4 right now. Go figure. Tw 
12 in the morning where you're at? Uh, it's only 10 o'clock where I'm at here, so it's kind of nice. I got an early start here. A lot of times I'm here really late, and it kills me. I'm so tired. I don't think we got anybody. Yep, that sucks. Let's try it. Uh... Man, let's just try solo. Twelve in the morning, so that means you are on Eastern time. You're somewhere in the east. Ooh, a bone shaker. I didn't think I should build a bone shaker drag car. I'll do that. As soon as we do this, I'm gonna go get a bone shaker and build it for drag. This car is fast. 8.3, this car has gone a nuts all wheel drive. It's gone faster than that before. I think it's gone just like an 8.0 before. So let's go build a bone shaker. I do have one other car, it's fast. It's the TVR, it's faster than that one. So you get to see the way I build them. Let's head back over here. You can kind of see. Oh, I'm wrecking. Didn't even know I was wrecking. <laughs> You can kind of see how the front end bobs around some. Let's see what if it does if I just, if I get on the, uh, what am I doing here? It tries to bring the front end up some, but it can. Let's go back over to the festival Ooh, and get a bone shaker. I think that was a bone shaker. We'll do a quick drag build here. This won't take that long. I might build two. We'll do all wheel drive first, see how fast we can make it. Then I, I really want a car that you just take off like normal and it's just so bad, it just pulls the front end off the ground and goes. Everything on here is kind of acting a little glitchy. It's kind of hesitating and pausing. It's making me nervous. Mm, view all. Let's see. Hot Wheels. That would be a fun little car to build there. I do too. I like drag racing and drifting myself. I wish that the drag racing on here was a little more legit. I definitely like that they've stepped up the game from what it was like in uh, Horizon 3. Where is the Bone Shaker? But that being said, it's also the cars themselves aren't quite like what it would really be like if you were building one. Why am I not finding a Bone Shaker on here? What's it under? I expect it to be under Hot Wheels, but it clearly wasn't there. Hmm. Something's, something's up here. 
I am in that upgrade heroes Forzathon shop DLC cars. I don't think it's in here. I've seen lots of people using them. This is really messing with me now. Uh, let's just try auction house. Hot Wheels. Uh, should be able to look up any Hot Wheels on here. Wow. Oh my gosh. 20 million dollars. No, sorry. That's not happening. Holy crap. Wonder if this was something that was done in a Forza Thon. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Forza Thon shop. If it was available then, I probably wouldn't have bought it. Yeah, there it is. 175. I've got 85 credits. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's insanity. You know what? I could go out and participate in a Forza Thon. I saw, saw one trying to start up, but I don't think I could get enough credits to get it. Yeah, I don't see a Forza Thon about to start anytime soon. So let's pick a different car. Let's see what cars I already have that I could build. Um, just building a drag car. And I could do, oh, these things, real life, these cars are so cool when they're done like a drag car. Hmm. Let's do it. I got a feeling it won't be very fast. <laughs> Look at the hat. Let's go in here and build this thing as fast as I can. Upgrades and tunes. Custom upgrades. Hmm. I'm going to make it all-wheel drive, but I want to make it look like a two-wheel drive. Whoa, it's not letting me change engine. That means it's going to be just pukey slow. These things were a straight six engine way back in the day. And what's this thing like? Horsepower 328. What on earth, man? This is a stinking Corvette that was very popular back in the day for some cool builds let's find something else i'm just not able to get enough out of this one abandoned setup that sucks that car could be wicked let's look some more got me all want to do a drag build now um the beetle maybe the the bus it's all gonna Depend on what type of, that could be a cool one. What type of engines are available for it? That's cool, man. Being 11 and 11 old cars. That says something. I like that. You know, these cars right here back in the day actually were really fast old uh, 1950s song about cars called Dead Man's Curve and it was talking about one of those cars. Hmm. I could do another one of these. That would be a cool little drag car. I didn't know I had that one. I don't know where that car came from. Uh, let's see here. You know, some of the stuff's already been done. It's kind of been played out already. Everybody's done it. Did the gremlin. 
Let's go buy. Let's go look some more. Maybe something like a muscle car. But I like doing odd stuff. Like stuff not everybody else is doing. Some of these are so expensive, there's nothing I can do with them. Uh, oh, that's a Bach Mono. I don't want that thing. Uh, 1.5 million out of that old Bentley. Nobody makes a drag, drag car out of a Bentley. I think they're, if, if they would let you do like a V12 in that car, that would be nasty. Here's some GM stuff. There's the old Corvette. Those things are heavy. This is what I had in mind, actually. buy it and see if we can put some put a real engine in it come on come on All depends on what we can put in it. So we can do some swapping. Yes. Um, same thing. Let's make it all-wheel drive, but I'm going to make it look like it's two-wheel drive by doing like skinny tires on the front and the front end kind of down. What can we do here? I'm not sure. Mm, that's kind of like a road race type look. That actually is something you would have seen on drag cars back in the day. Don't necessarily like the way it looks, but I think it's maybe a good idea. That just looks dumb. Let's see here. Oh, the hood. What can we do here? Yeah, that's going to look like a drag car. We could even do this. Make it look like a drag car. Actually, if I paint it, put a nice paint job on it with that hood, it'll look good. Let's do drag tires. The front, we're going to stay as skinny as possible. The rear, we're going to go as fat as possible. Now that adds weight. Let's go down here. Wish there were a few more options as far as drag wheels go. That actually looks really bad right there. It's really not what you would want to do on a real car. So you'll notice my weight here. I'm gaining eight pounds going to that taller wheels. Eight pounds isn't that big of a deal. Wish you could reduce the actual height of the tire. Like how those front tires are still real tall. Really wish I could drop that down. Wow, a lot of options. Street, sport, race, rally, drift. Ooh, drift is down low. generally start with rally curious if it will let me get it as low though oh weight is an issue here not a huge issue but five pounds difference um, I'm gonna do my own adjusting so let's go with drift and see what happens Now's where we make the magic. Get some power out of this thing. All right, 
that should be everything you know i think i'm gonna go ahead and make just kind of looks goofy with those wheels like they are on the front can at least go to a 17. All right, we'll throw that on. So I'm at 1,500 horsepower, 2,900 pounds. I actually lost weight even though I converted it to all-wheel drive. Yeah, I'm actually going to change the color on it a little bit here. I think these cars are just mean looking when they're black. I don't usually like to paint cars black because black has a tendency to want to hide some of the uh, natural beauty of a car sometimes. But since this is going to be a drag car, I want it to look like an actual drag car that you might see at a drag strip. That being said, we'll change things a little bit here. Give it a little bit of a grunge look to it, but not. I like that right there. Just want the car to look menacing, mean looking. What if we do the hood in carbon fiber? Oh yeah. Can't really tell unless you get up close, but that is definitely something I like. Save that. So anytime I'm tuning a drag car, the first thing I do is just go out and run it just like it is. I don't change anything, not even tire pressure. I want to get what's called a baseline. So then I can tell if the things I'm doing are making it faster or slower. Ooh, it backs up quick. <laughs> so I'm going to do a solo on here. And I'm just going to keep hitting replay. Keep redoing the race over and over and over until I get the fastest car I can. I love this body style Corvette. Let's see what she does straight out of the box. Sometimes I even like to write down what this is. So an 8.6, that's not too shabby really at all. We might make this thing fast. So I'll just do restart. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is take air pressure out of the back tires all the way. I'm doing this part from experience here. The back will go down all the way and I won't change anything else. We'll run it again. So we just did 8.6 I think. I'm gonna write that down. It's important stuff. Got to know that. Got to remember it. So 8.6 straight out of the box. You know, I'm seeing one thing I don't like already. There's water on the track. So I want to set up a different event with no water on the track. 
Uh, 8.6 again. Wow, that kind of sucks. I was hoping to pick up. We'll get out of this and then I'll come back and set up a new event. Thanks for stopping by, Ten Tension Phantom. I don't know what you're saying. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. So let's set this up as a summertime event where it's all nice and dry. Your custom event blueprint. Let's do this here. Current car, classic muscle, event settings. Basically, my main concern is that it's dry. Jake's still here. Thanks for stopping back in. If I'm not sure if you left earlier. Um, just want to make sure I had a proper thumbnail and everything up and description and all since I was going to Horizon 4. What? Did I set this up at night time? Uh, we'll make it work. Okay, so 8.6 was our straight out of the box time. Love to beat 8.6, but don't think we're going to. Still an 8.6. I hit the wrong button. Ugh. I bet you can make those Novas fast. Okay, hit the wrong button, so let's go back and do this again. I'm kind of thinking since dropping the tire pressure didn't help much, I'm afraid this car might be close to tapped out. I really think if it hit 8.6 straight out of the box, we should be able to run at least an 8.0, maybe even 7.9 out of it, but it didn't let me do much. Oh, cool. You were watching the whole time. All right, let's tune. Let's just drop the front tires down now. been very unusual when I'm tuning drag cars for one of them to not get quicker when you drop the tire pressure down. Now it launched right there, it didn't spin at all, not even a little chirp, so that may have dropped the time down a little bit. 8.6, dang it. So I'll hit restart, this way I don't have to go all the way back out and back in. But I also don't get, don't get any credits when I do this. That's really disappointing, seeing that it uh, didn't do anything for me there. It's a drag car, so we want our camber straight up and down, so we've got our tires as flat on the ground as possible. Caster, 
We'll see if that. I don't think that'll change anything because the car just not didn't spin it. That's cool, man. I understand. I need to go to bed myself. So, um, yeah, I'll be back on here next Tuesday for sure. But then I'll be posting videos to the channel on Thursday. Got a new video up. And I'm going to try to start doing that like my weekly schedule. 8.5. So we've got the 8.542. It's my fastest. Let's hit restart. We'll make changes in the suspension now until we um, until we get this thing as fast as it can go. Then I'll start adjusting the gear ratio. Thanks, Jake. Have a good night. No change, 8.542. Springs, let's run the rear as soft as they can go. Make the front a little bit stiff. What we're looking for here is for the car actually to launch and kind of take off. For the rear to be able to allow it to a little bit of weight transfer for the front to come up and stay that way all the way down the track. Because when you have a car where the front end comes up fast and it comes down fast, it can actually cause the rear end to lift a little bit and spin the tires. So you'll see me changing things this bump stiffness soft on the front no hard on the front soft on the back that means I need to do the opposite here See if that makes any change. I'm thinking we're not going to make much change with this stuff because the car is not spinning out, and that's really why you do all of this suspension changing is to stop it from spinning out. My top speed right there was 169. I need to get that over 170. That actually slowed us down just a little bit, but not enough to worry about. It's less than a full tenth. Only three one hundredths of a second, so I'm not going to worry about that. Now it's time to play with the gear ratio, I believe. Nope, let's lock up the differentials too. Don't expect to see any change from this at all. Again, just because the car's not spinning, so how can it possibly help you? Yeah, no change. This is where things get a little frustrating. The way you have to gear a car on this game to make it fast in a drag race is totally the opposite of what you would do in real life. And that is infuriating. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my final drive ratio, which is also known as your ring and pinion gear, and I'm going to gear it as high as possible. Now, in a real car, you wouldn't do that. But on here you need to so that you can, one, minimize the amount of times you're shifting, and two, a lot of times you're doing it to prevent the car from spinning. So there we went to an 8.9. It slowed us down a lot because we just did that one. Now I've got to go in and tune each individual gear. This is where it really starts to take some time and some, some effort. So we noticed when the car took off, it just 
slammed into gear and just ugh, didn't do anything. So let's just take these gears here. Monkey with them a little bit. An easy thing to do if you don't know how to tune gears is look down there at the bottom right. You can see those lines. See how they kind of line up? How if I have this one here? That first line is first gear. The second one, the red one, is second gear. The third one is third gear. See how it kind of now is too short looking? It just falls out of sequence. You can actually do this. It's kind of an easy way. Just move those around until it just kind of has a nice orderly look to it like that right there so each one is a little bit higher up than the one before there's no real science to that but that's a good baseline start on tuning gears Then I'm gonna look at things like how far down does RPM drop each time it shifts. So that right there is our fastest time actually. 8.509, which tells me we're not gonna get much better out of this car. Kind of a shame, you know, this thing, maybe if we go back and make it two wheel drive, take some weight out of it. I think I can actually gear this a little bit lower See if that helps it. And the reason I'm doing that is it seemed like it kind of wanted to bog just a little bit in between each gear shift. Drop down a little too much. And I thought I could maybe just... Yeah, we actually picked up speed. We were one mile per hour faster that time. Uh, but it slowed us back down. Let's restart that same one. And I'm just barely going to bump the gear ratio up a little bit. Two clicks is all I did. Notice how it's still spinning out in first gear. That's what we don't want. You want to be right on the edge of spinning out and not spinning out. No change. Let's do the same thing. Two more bumps down. Had a little bit of spin in that time, a little bit of wheel spin. 8.50 now, we're back to that. Now I'm gonna play with my ride height. Sounds like a weird thing to do. I don't think this car is gonna go any faster than 8.5. Actually, let's do this. Just to see what happens, let's run the spring rate all the way up. It's different theories, different ways of thinking here. But let's see what happens in the game. No change. Same exact time. So there's not much I can change here. The only last thing I've got left at all is maybe a little bit with first gear. How when we're launching, it's wanting to um, 
kind of tack out and then come back down and tack out again. See if we can get it to just make a steady pull. At this point, if I can get this thing to run an 8.500, I'd be happy. Slowed us down again. This is where, honestly, being a video game versus real life drag racing is really kind of asinine. <laughs> what I just changed right there should not have done anything like what it did. Uh, we had this at 411. I think it was 411. So let's go. Just a couple of clicks. That's as fast as this car is going to be allowed to go, I believe. That's the way games work. So that being said, let's see if there's anything we've left on the table. So let me see here. Tune car, setup manager, save file. We'll save this as all wheel drive drag. And that was an 8.50. Going pretty good, Mitchell White. How you doing? Now I'm going to go back and do a two-wheel drive tune for the same car. two-wheel drive tunes are usually slower than your all-wheel drive tunes for obvious reasons in the game um, but I'm always looking for that one time when I can find a car I can actually make it faster because you are losing weight when you go to two-wheel drive you're you're making a car a lighter weight vehicle so in theory yeah you can make it faster as two-wheel drive than you can as two-wheel drive as four-wheel drive I mean look at all your big major drag teams and stuff those are two-wheel drive cars Upgrades. Nope. Yep. Let me also take a look at engines. I'm doing the V12 because I can get the most amount of power out of it. But let's just take a peek at what happens with weight. It's 2,900 pounds. 6.2 V8 is 2,600 pounds. It's 300 pounds less. Let's just let's just mess around here a little bit and see if we make this car two-wheel drive and V8 powered instead of all-wheel drive and V12 powered. See if we can make it faster than 8.50. We'll throw all the parts at it. And when you're talking about a 500 horsepower difference, a couple hundred pounds doesn't matter at that point. So let's see. 
Yeah, I'm going to be about 500 horsepower less than what I was with the V12. So the couple hundred pounds I've saved by going to a V8 is not really going to be a game changer. Not in the real world. I never trust video games when it comes to tuning, though. All right, let's do one last thing here. Now let's take these back tires. I'm going to need all the traction I can get. We'll go down to a 15. Uh, the front, let's keep shaving weight. Let's drop that down to a 15 also. Actually, I want to do one thing here too. The rear. It gains nine pounds on the rear. I'm just going to do it. I don't, I don't know if it's the best idea or not. What the heck? While we're in here changing stuff, let's change the hood also. Now, same thing as before. I'm going to bring the car out. I'm not changing anything. We'll make one pass and see what it does. Ooh. Go back to our tuning setup, tuning race. Yeah. I think we might have something here. This that thing was kind of snappy coming out of the out of the festival there. I'm probably gonna throw a paint job on this car that nobody likes, to be completely honest with you. Um I remember going to the drag strip and seeing cars like this that were just super bad cars. And they'd always have some paint job that was so 80s looking and they were just terrible. Like the car would be like purple or teal with some uh, like like a checkered flag coming from the front of it. Honestly, I think it looks nasty and it does not do justice to the car. But part of me wants to do that for some reason. I like I don't I don't know if I breathe some weird fumes today or something. Part of me wants to do that to this car and make it like a legitimate car you'd see at a drag strip. Wow, two wheel drive, this thing just launched and didn't spin at all. With that being said, it ain't nearly as fast as what it could have been. You know what, I didn't upgrade any of the transmission stuff. We just ran a 9.4. I didn't do any of the uh, shifting upgrades. But based off how it just launched, I think I need to go back to the V12. So let's go back to the festival. Yeah, notice how slow it's shifting. Ooh, can't drop. Drag cars are not known to handle well. <laughs> Uh, 
garage upgrades. Let's go back to our V12. Hate to have to spend all the time. But I don't think... Wow, the V10 is lighter than the V8. Let's just give that a try. Who knows? We do need to upgrade our draft rank. Ooh, I did. Ooh, ooh, dang. That thing was doggish. It was slow. All right. Let's max out this V10, see what happens. Use up all my credits on this stuff. Uh, made a 2002 Turbo Dirt. Yeah. Two thousand two. I'm trying to picture. Was it like a three series car? Did I miss some of these? I like the E thirty sixes. They're probably my favorite. Like a M three E thirty six. Probably my favorite BMW. I can't believe this car launched and did not spin at all straight out of the box. Unless, yeah, it's still got the suspension setup that I had before, but usually when they're the way they're geared straight out of the festival here, they'll just spin the tires off. V10 sounds weird. This is a really weird sounding car. That's supposed to be based off maybe like a Viper V10. They do have a unique sound. Honestly, as much as I like Vipers, just a stock Viper with some exhaust on it doesn't really sound that great. They kind of sound like a tractor. It's an old square body. Let's see what she does with a V10. That's really all I changed. I just put a different engine in it. Didn't even look to see what kind of horsepower this made. Mile per hour is way down from the V12. Oh, that's even slower than the V8. Okay, let's go back and let's do the V12 like I said I would. Yeah, don't be dancing. You went slow. This car looks super good, though. I love these cars.
garage. Let's go in here. All we're going to do is change the engine out. So we're picking up, gosh, man, a little over 160 pounds, looks like. But when you're talking picking up 500 horsepower, that's a huge deal. I think there's one thing in there that I've just noticed. When I was doing this before, I didn't have the intake on it. That's all I had. So we're picking up 15 horsepower. It says I'm only 797. What is up? What have I done wrong? I didn't supercharge or turbo it. That's what it was. So 1,100 horsepower. It's kind of weird. Some of the V12s on here, you get 1,500. Some of them, you don't. And that's weird. So you got to watch this stuff right here. I discovered this on the little turbo uh, four rally engine. That on some of them, you actually lost power on one of these... Parts. I forget exactly which part it is. When you added it in, it took away a massive amount of power. Looks like it's not happening on these. Oh, there we go. There we go now. So what's that for? 1515? 15, 15? Yep. Now let's check here. Did I do that? I didn't have this stuff bought before. We were down on power. We might make a whole different change. I should have, ah, man. Should have done that with uh, all-wheel drive. But let's, let's give it a try with two-wheel drive. Car's hooking as it is, so see if it still hooks with another 500 horsepower. take the paint off of it that side lighten it up it'll be faster that way I think the car is just going to spin through first gear and not hook at all. And it's probably going to run really high 8 second or low 9 seconds. That's my guess. What? No, I don't care about driver card. Don't want to make them faster. Yep, first gear spawn. But not bad, really, though. This car actually looked pretty good. Nine oh oh man, was I on the money with that? Let's restart it. Hmm, I don't really know what to change to make it faster at this point. Gear ratio, let's do the typical. You gear it all the way to the top. You drive it and see what happens. Now, I was fighting with keeping the car straight a little bit. Oh, it's geared too high. And 64 miles per hour fastest so far Ooh, it actually slowed me down fastest so far at the 8.509 was 170 miles per hour I 
We had this geared at a 411 with the all-wheel drive. I don't think that's going to spin out. Closer you have the bottom of those, the cleaner it's going to sound when it shifts instead of kind of bogging down in between them, in between gears. Let's see if this helps. Too much spinning, too much spinning. Woohoo. That's going to be slow. Yeah, that's slow. Oh, wow. Someone was catching up to me. That was bad. That was real bad. 9.276. I got second place. You know what? Let's go back now that we actually bought all the parts for our power and put the all wheel drive back on this thing. I really want to go below 8.5. I think this car deserves to go faster than 8.5. In fact, probably the fastest way to do this is to load my own tune back into it. My tunes. Um, no, it says it's at 1500 horsepower, so. fifteen fifteen is what it says, but that can't be right. Because it didn't tell me that I owned those parts. It just put them in the basket. We'll see. After I uh, check to see what this runs, I'll probably go do a little bit of racing. And then hop out of here. So. The Shaven. Oh, I thought it would be faster. Now I'll go into custom upgrades. Hmm, okay. Maybe I was wrong. So let's do ah, the wrong button. Trying to go faster than an 8.509. Go ahead and do my tune in right here. That, uh, what else was that? I think that was all. 
that I can actually tune. I want to check on my tire pressures. That's good. Theory, this should be our fastest pass of the night with this car. But we never know in the artificial world of game drag racing. We may run exactly the same, but technically it's a little bit lighter. I went to a smaller diameter wheels. It's a little bit lighter in that regards. But then we added a little bit of weight back when we did the wing. But then I was able to reduce... The amount of downforce so it's actually less downforce than stock hopefully that reduced drag Hundred and sixty nine miles per hour. I don't think we changed anything. Nope, exactly the same. Okay, so we'll just continue here and now I want to go do a little bit of fun racing. A little bit of playing around. All right. I'm going to go to the team adventures and quick play racing dirt cross country and street racing. Let's do that. Oh, great. I just lost all my sound. Another Horizon 4 wonderful glitch. Oh, there we got some sound. It's a little late. <laughs> we'll do this for a little bit and then I'll be getting out of here. Oh no, man. The sound is all goofed up. Man, this. I just don't get it. How are they having so many problems with Horizon 4? I mean, so much of the stuff I'm sure is cut and paste from Horizon 3, and then you just add in and make some changes. So we got two free roam rushes, we got, and the rest of them are street races. At night, no doubt. Jacob, hey man, how you doing? I'm glad you're a massive fan. Unless, of course, it means you're physically large. If that's the case, then I'm sorry you're a massive fan. Hmm, let's see here. We're doing racing at night. What the heck? Let's take this truck. I love this truck. It's so cool. It's sounds so good, handles good, everything. I like everything about this truck. Except I would have made it a Chevy. Not because I got anything against Ford. Don't get me wrong. I like I got I actually own just as many Fords as I do Chevys right now. But when you're talking nineteen seventies vehicles, nineteen seventies trucks, Chevys are by far the better looking to me. Ooh. Oh, merely an old pickup truck racing against some um, supercars. Sounds like something I would do in real life, actually. Totally me. <laughs> You've been watching since 200 subs. Man, thanks. Red potato cars. The question marks. 
questioning my judgment on what I chose to pick, I am too. Yep. And this really isn't like a for real legit tune in this thing either, I don't think. It's just kind of something to play around with. Ooh. You gotta drive like that. You gotta be bashing me around. Oh, get off that fence. Get off the fence. Oh, sorry, dude. Sorry. I'm not trying to wreck this guy. I'm not trying to hit him. Why do they put the fences so close? Like, the roads are so small over here. Just played Horizon 3 for a bit. And uh, on Horizon 3, it was so refreshing to have nice, big, wide roads to play on. I saw that comment come through, but I'm not looking away. I'm actually halfway holding my own here, it looks like. didn't expect to be, to be honest with you. But this truck is just so amazing. I love it. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. Oh, come on. I gotta make up. Gotta catch back up to this guy. This truck is not too shabby at all for a, for a truck. Could stand to have some fine tuning done on the. Uh, on the tune for it. I really haven't used it to race at all. I've just kind of used it to goof around with and stuff. But that's a cool truck. I like it. <laughs> Feel free to hop in anytime. I know you may not have Horizon 4, but it's been kind of hard doing live streams with Horizon 4, to be honest with you. You know, on Horizon 3, I'd get other people to jump in and we'd play together. Horizon 4 is just like me just playing and playing. But I do plan on being on here every Tuesday. That's kind of my new plan. Um, and posting actual edited real videos on Thursdays. So got that all set up. I've already got this week's Thursday video and next week's Thursday video done. Um, and I'm live streaming right now. So, there you go. And you know, I'll start off tonight with Horizon 3. I might go back and do some more of that. I actually had a lot of fun. There was like a different group of people there now. Everybody's gone on to Horizon 4, so it was like people... The Horizon 3 was like new to them. So, can I check the Forzathon shop? Uh, after I get out of all of this racing here, I can. I looked at it earlier, not too long ago, and it had the Bone Shaker. Actually, it had a really cool shirt on there with like a skull on it or something. I don't remember what else it had. Ah, uh, see. Yeah, are you guys having troubles with servers down there also? Because we're having all kinds of problems with the servers on Horizon 4. Like, watch here. If I go friends, two friends in games. Now nah, they're not playing this game right now. Friends online. Well, what the heck? Nobody's 
Nobody's actually playing Horizon 4 right now, but it won't let me join anybody. Um, oh, okay. So that's what it was when I looked at it maybe 30 minutes ago. It was the Bone Shaker and stuff. But when I'm done with these races, yeah, I'll go back to it. So this is the Free Roam Rush. I kind of like these. Okay, so I guess it's worldwide. I mean, if we got it up here in Wyoming and you got it in Australia, it's worldwide. I'm the worldwide. Oh, damn, sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where am I going? Where am I going? I can't tell where I'm going. Ah, there it is. Right there. I just dropped down to fifth place when I decided to take a shortcut. I'm heading right towards the festival, aren't I? I am. Turn around when it is safe to do so. I ain't turning around. Oh, he ain't turning around. Oh, now I'm up in first place. <laughs> Funny how that works. Turn left. This is probably a mistake right here. In 100 yards, turn right. In 200 yards, turn left. Turn left. I'm going this way, lady. Turn around oh, crap. when it is safe to do so. In 400 yards, turn left. I'm probably going to be like the most last person of all to get there. Look at all these these people in front of me down there on the mini map. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Dang, trees everywhere. Man, if it wasn't for the trees, I'd probably be out ahead. There's another tree. Oh wow, the back glass is busted out of it. It's all broken and stuff. Come on, little truck. Go fast. Big wreck. Oh man, we're halfway there. Yeah, I remember you. I actually remember the name, Jacob. The way it's spelled there is a little different than uh, with the K instead of a C. A little different than I'm used to seeing, so I actually do remember that. Well, I've been thoroughly slaughtered in this race. Try to do things my way and wound up going way slower. Yards. Turn left. I'm not even going to make it. I died. Well, that sucks that they're having problems all over the place. I guess that means they'll be working on it, but it's really made it difficult to work with. I got zero points from that. Spring Aldo? What kind of name is that? <laughs> Gotta figure out how to get some music in this thing. 
get on streamer mode because all the music that they play in these cutscenes here is copyrighted music and it will get me copyright strikes on my live streams which is not something you want to get started doing so have to turn that out but then now I'm stuck with nothing I can get some kind of like copyright free music but I just haven't spent the time to figure out how to do it yet So now we've got Gilfinan, Gilfinan Chase, whatever that is. Um, da, 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 a little bit of a straight line race looks like there. It is a street race. This dude seems to think it's cool to kick me. Started me out the back of the pack. What the heck? Why? Why? Okay, now I really gotta work my way up. Ooh, everybody must have missed that turn. Oh, I just missed the checkpoint. Okay. that one. I like grinding on Horizon 3. I like grinding on all these racing games. I haven't had a PlayStation in years though. It's actually what got me started in racing games with Gran Turismo way back in the day. Oh man, this is wet and I'm sliding everywhere. I feel that Horizon 4 has too much this little crap, like these fences that slow you down. The roads are so much narrower. Those things really annoy me. I don't feel like you can just drive on the ragged edge as well or as often on, on 4 as you can with uh, on Horizon 3. I went from getting second place in these races to dead last now twice. Well, there's somebody I get to pass back. Wow, I'm not going to finish again. Another DNF. I should be up there. I really don't like driving on the wet roads. I don't even understand really why they put them in a game. Why make a racing game have wet roads in it? But I guess some people like it, so... Oh, so close. Did I make it? Yeah, I did. Good. <coughs> yeah, I hear you, man. Everybody's playing Fortnite. I kind of like it, but not enough to play it long enough to get good at it. I like the concept, but it seems like you're on there, you get killed real fast, then you wait for like 10 minutes to get back in the game again. You get killed within a minute. Then you wait 10 minutes to get back in. And it just... It, I don't have enough time to do that. When I want to play a game, I got to get to business. I got to play the game. So while you guys are watching, I want to invite you to check out uh, the links I've got down in my description. Honestly, I don't even remember all of them. I <laughs> um, think there is a Streamlabs link down there. Also, let me know in the comment section if you've subscribed while I've been playing and I didn't give you a call out. <clears throat> and um, also, you'll notice the WoW Tech thing on there. If you're of the age that you're looking at going to some kind of schooling, like a college or a trade school, and you're interested in cars and want to work on cars in, uh, in real life, doing custom high performance stuff then check them out 
Now, what am I doing? I don't need to be doing all this. I was thinking I was on another street race. I was looking for, I'm like, where's the smoke signal things? Turn around when it is safe to do so. Well, dude, get out of in front of me. I'm like stuck on you. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Okay, I'm like, how am I going to get over there? Let's go for it. 100 yards, turn right. In 400 yards, turn left. I don't want to hit too many trees, but I saw windmills, so I thought that would give me some hope. Turn around. That maybe it's just like wide so. open spaces I can drive through here. Route. Stay in full throttle, keep it pinned. Oh, yards. finally hit a tree turn right at the end right. there. Almost made it without touching a tree. That knocked me back to fourth place. Wow, we're all up in the air. Third place. Come on, baby, come on. First place, heck yeah. Keep it going. Oh, stay away, stay away. Well, I got second place, I got last place, I got last place, and now I'm getting first place. In 400 yards, turn left. Wow, how far away is that? It's, it looks like it's just right there in front of me. But then it's like forever to get there. So, made it. First place. Uh, try to give me a win later, you mean? I'm not a hundred percent sure what you're what you mean. This is like I go to bed with a big thing on my head from this stupid headset making a stripe across my bald head. So was that the last event? I think it was. Um, yeah, I'm not going to play Fortnite. <laughs> I'm actually about to get off here for now. But no, I have my days where I win, and I have my days where I lose. I just don't do well. Part of it, I think, is just getting older. I don't do well on like the nighttime races. I don't do good on those at all. But I like to play on here. I actually get on the nights when I'm not streaming. There's actually a lot of nights when I'm actually on here playing. But um, like uh, just participating in other people's streams and stuff. That truck's so wicked. Okay, that was that. So let's check out. Oop, I want to quit this. Check out that uh, Forza Thon. For whoever who red potatoes, I think. Red potato cars. Can I look at it from here? Don't remember. Or if I have to go and get in. If you're not already in a club, I do have the Clutch Trick Gaming Club here. I've got a whole whopping three people in it right now, so feel free to hop into that. Um, let's fast travel down here. See if I can look at what's available in the Forza Thun store.
Hey, Nick Cruz, how you doing? Uh, Forza Thon Shop, there it is. So yeah, you've got the uh, Forza Thon Edition uh, Nova. I might have to try to get that. Um, then the Bone Shaker, which is outrageously priced in auction. And we got these two shirts. Oh, it says I actually own that one already. That one's kind of cool. I think I may actually try to get the money to get that uh, that Nova. Seems like something I need. So yeah, I'll do that. About to grind on some Gran Turismo 4. Heck yeah. I haven't got to play any of the new Gran Turismos. I need to. I really I want to. Well guys, I have live stream now. Most of the night. I need to get off here. I've done uh, Horizon 3 for about an hour and a half now. I've been on Horizon 4 for almost two hours. So... Keep an eye out on the channel. I have decided to start being on here every Tuesday night. It's something I think is doable for me. And then I'm going to be trying my best to upload an actual video every Thursday. That might waver a little bit, but at least for the next couple weeks, I know that's not going to be a problem. Next few weeks. So, see you guys. Have a nice night. Thanks for coming. Clutch out. Clutch tired. Clutch gotta go pee.